Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Georgia. Go ahead and subscribe because you will be getting a lot of videos from me. In some of my previous videos, I told you that I would show you how to upload pre-made ClickBank websites to the internet. Websites similar to this one right here. Um, yeah, let me see this one. So this is a ClickBank website where I uploaded it to the, the internet and you can sell items from here from ClickBank. You could put AdSense ads from here. These up right up top here are AdSense is an AdSense ad. And you can also sell product from Amazon. So for instance, if you click on this um, right over here, this item, this this banner will take you to a ClickBank product. And let's go back to the main page. And if you want to shop for debt-free living, let me make sure I'm in the right one. Debt-free living store. This would take you to a Amazon listings for products. It's going to open up in a second. See, these are all recommended products from Amazon. It's still opening. So I've told you that I have have a number of these websites up on the internet. And today I'm going to show you how to upload one. And we're going to do it from scratch. So where do I get my websites from? Okay, these I could close. No, let me leave it open. I purchased my website from a site called CB Pro Ads. And I'm already inside. I already logged on. This is CB Pro Ads. They're always uploading and putting more websites up. The way to get in, you go to your WordPress plugin, you go to niche storefronts, and then when you scroll down, this is how they give you um they give you instructions on how to upload the sites. But when you scroll down, you have a number of different niches that niches or niche that you could pick from. So most of these I've already uploaded. Most of these websites I've already uploaded, and today we're gonna I'm gonna walk you through uploading one called mobile marketing it's a brand new one let me tell let me show you the total of sites they have up on the um web page right now so you have an 110 websites that you could choose from or you could use them all so i'm gonna do today i'm gonna do mobile marketing and most more than likely this video is going to be a two-part series because I'm going to tell you why later on, but more than likely it will be in two parts. It's not going to be completed today. One part will be done today and the next part tomorrow. So one thing I would suggest that you get is a USB stick because you're going to have to download a lot of material and you don't want it to clog up your, um, your computer and slow it down. So I strongly suggest that you get a USB drive, an external drive. So right to start off. I am going to download all the files having to do with this website onto my drive. So like I said, we're going to do mobile marketing. And when everything is over, we're going to have a website similar to what I showed you a little while ago. So we click on download. It's going to open up in my files. And my USB drive, I have a file titled CB Pro Ads. I'm going to save it there. And we're going to come back to that. So the first thing that we have to do is actually create a subdomain. So if you already have a hosting account, my hosting account is HostGator. And I've already opened it, like I said, in interest of time. I want to go ahead and create a subdomain. See, I've already used 80. If you don't already know, when you buy a main domain from um, GoDaddy or wherever you purchase it from, you could have up to 100 subdomains on that one main domain. I hope I'm making sense. So my main domain is ClickBank Queen, and the website I'm going to add is going to be mobile.com clickbankqueen.com so let's get started so like i said we're going to name it mobile i could do mobile marketing but it's going to be very long so i'm just going to do mobile but one thing i always want to do before 
Let's see. Let's make sure I highlight and copy this public HTML because if I don't, it's going to create a problem. So that's what one of the first thing you want to do. Highlight and copy, type in public and it's going to it's going to automatically populate. So you'll highlight and copy that and hold it to, to hold it within your um just hold it. You're going to need it in a second. Then we're going to go in and give the subdomain a name. I'm going to name it mobile. Like I said I could do mobile marketing, but it's too long. So we're going to do mobile. We're going to come down here. See, it jumped right to mobile.clickbankqueen.com. However, you need to have that public um, HTML in front. So you put your cursor right in front of the word mobile, right click and paste. And make sure that you have that, put that backslash in there also. So now we have public HTML mobile.clickbankqueen.com. So that's our new um, subdomain. So you click on create. Okay, and it's going to take some time to make sure that I don't already have something like that named. Hopefully, I don't. I'm going to make sure we get the green. Go ahead. Go Green means go ahead. Just give it a minute. Okay, so success mobile.clipbankqueen.com has been created. Now, you want to go back. You could add another subdomain, but I'm just working on the one right now. So I'm going to go back to um, the main page. And now we're going to create an SLQ database. Okay, so we, we are back on the main page and we're going to create an MSQL database. So you click on that. Okay, so we're going to create a database and I'm going to also call this one mobile. So, and this is an important step, so don't skip it because if you do, you won't get anywhere. So mobile, you're going to create a database in mobile. Okay, that's good. And we're going to go back and we're going to create a password for this user all right so we already created a database now we're going to create a user so we scroll down and we come all the way down to so my ms my sql users and we're going to add a new user and believe it or not we're going to use the same name mobile it's okay and then Use a password. Always use one password for all of them. Okay. And then create user. And after that's done, we're going to add the user to the database. See, all good. Let's go back and we're going to add the user that we just created with the database using the information that we just created. Like I said, this is an important step. You do not want to skip this. So we're back on the page. Now we scroll all the way down and we find where it says add user to database so now we have to search so what's the username mobile so we go to the drop down screen and we look for mobile oh it's in alphabetical order so it shouldn't be hard to find and here it is mobile and what's the name of the database still mobile I just did that to make it easier for you guys, but you know, you could always switch up a little bit and make sure that you keep good notes because if you have to log off for any reason and come back, it might be hard to find. So here it is, mobile. So our username is, in my case, ghall184 mobile and the database that is going in is ghall184 mobile. 
and then we add, click on add, And when it comes to this page that says manage user privileges, if you notice right below says manage user privileges, you have your username and you have your database name. So you might want to highlight that copy, put it to a notepad or write it somewhere because you're going to need it later on. You're going to need it to upload the website. So do not lose track of this information where it says user and database. Now you want to go ahead and click on all privileges because you want to have access to everything, scroll down and click on Make Changes. And we are good to go. Now we're going to go back to the home page and we're going to upload the file that we downloaded to our S to the um, USB drive. We are going to upload that file so we could work on it. Okay, we are back on the control panel. We're now we're going to click on file manager because now we want to upload those files for the website into the file manager so we could work on the website. So while we're in file manager, we're going to search for the my MSQ MSQ you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're going to search for that file that we just created, that database that we just created. So we're going to go to public HTML, click that open, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to scroll down and look for the file called mobile. Here we are, mobile.clickbankqueen.com, click that open. And we need to upload some files to it. So we come up here to the top. If you look right across the top, the one uh, tab that says upload is, is in bold. Click that open. And then it's going to open up our section for files. And we are going to go into our um, USB drive and find those files. We're not uploading everything, so make sure you're paying attention. We're not uploading everything here. We're going to go in. We're going to select file. There was something I needed to have done before. Let me see if it will let me go through and do it. Go to CB Pro Ads. We're going to scroll down to the for look for the zip file that's called mobile marketing. It's in alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be hard to find. So here it is, mobile marketing. First, we need to unzip it right here in where it is. So right click on it because we're not uploading everything. We want to extract files. Click on extract here. It's extracting the files and then it's going to be in a folder. So we're not going to be in the zip folder anymore. We're going to scroll up and we're going to find a manila folder up here that should say mobile marketing let's see if it's there already is this is also in alphabetical order okay it didn't open let me go back up one and then come back again maybe i need to exit and come back in alphabetical order mobile marketing right here click it open and then it says files to upload open that folder click on that files to upload and this zip file that's inside of it click it once then click on open you want that to be uploaded without opening it wait for it to upload and the bar turns green good to go you go back in you get the next file import buddy is what we're going to use to help upload Click that open. Again, go back in and select the third file, the index.php. Click on open. Scroll down a little so you could see. So they're all 100% uploaded to the file manager. Come down here, click on the go back button. 
now if you look here at all the files you have the one that look like a little box a little open box backup mobile marketing highlight that and then if you come up to the top again scroll all the way over to the right and click on extract so click that open and then extract files and just give it a minute to extract. Okay, everything is out. Click on close. Now, because I am using a subdomain and I have my um my domain link to Cloudflare, I have to let Cloudflare know what I'm doing. So, if you don't know what Cloudflare is, it is a website where you could get um, free HTTPS, and I'm going to link the video below for you to see. Instead of having to purchase one, you could link it to Cloudflare. It helps you get more traffic. So, now I have a number of websites on Cloudflare. This is the one I'm working with, ClickBank Queen. Within that website, I have to go into the DNS. And I have to let them know that I have a new subdomain. And the way that I do that is you leave the file type in A. If you click on this drop down, you see a number of different um, file types. You're going to leave it in A. What is the name of the website I just created? Not the whole thing, but just, uh, just the subdomain, which is mobile. M-O-B-I-L-E and we are going to point it, make sure I point it to HostGator and what I do is I just highlight the um, IP address, paste it up here and then add record. This is important to do if you need, if you want to get your website up. Now what happens is in order for me to continue uploading the website, I have to make sure that Cloudflare recognizes this subdomain before I could move forward. This usually takes about 12 to 24 hours. I say most likely 12 hours. And then I'll come back in and continue. That's why I usually add a bunch of websites at one point. Use one day to add a bunch of websites and the next day to upload. So at this point, so tomorrow or in the next video, I should say, we are going to upload our actual website to the internet and the website is going to look something let me go to the home page so it could look better because that's the um, Amazon the website is going to look something like this so yes this video is definitely gonna have to be in two parts because I have to wait for Cloudflare to authorize my subdomain website before I could move forward so we're gonna end the video here Thank you for watching. I'm going to link all the necessary videos for you to get familiar with what I've done so far. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you watch part two. Okay, guys, until the next video, take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.